Hey everyone, cheers. How's everybody doing today? It's great to see you. I'm Susan Swanson. If you're new here, you're welcome to subscribe to the channel. It's here where we're checking out the market of houses to see just how much house we can get for the money. And today we have got some fine properties to view in a new state of interest. Check it out. This one here has 25 acres of land for $150,000 or this one has just under seven acres for 125,000, or this one has just under six acres for 37,900. Don't worry, however, because if you need, or if you don't need land, I should say, there's plenty of houses that aren't attached to large parcels of property. So if you'd like to check out these houses and more, they're all under $100,000 except for two in this episode. So grab your coffee, grab a tea, or you can grab a cocktail because it's five o'clock somewhere and come along with me as we venture through the new state of interest, the state for lovers, the state with more than 8 million people, and the state where you can get from the capital to the coast in less than two and a half hours. We're moving into the state of Virginia. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're having a great day. And as usual, I'm gonna move myself out of the way here a little bit, and we're gonna be looking in the state of Virginia, and we're gonna start on the lower price points. And uh, wow, there's some nice properties to be had in Virginia. And this one here is 37.9, as I showed in the intro. And this is just under six acres of land, and it is looks very interesting. It does look like it's gonna need some attention, as you see here on the left side. But it's right on a waterway, very mountainous region. There's the parcel, really long parcel, and they are not going to show us a whole lot of the inside, apparently. Looks like it has rough cut siding, and doesn't show us much more than that. I don't understand that, really, but it is what it is. And this is on uh, uh, Clinch River Highway in Duffield, Virginia, 24244. And uh, this one, again, is 37.9. It says it's a three-bedroom, one-bath. It's been on the market only 20 days, and it's just under six acres. It's a 75 bill. And it says the views. What an opportunity. This is a diamond in the rough along the Clinch River Highway. Great fixer, ready for new owners. Originally a three-bedroom, one-bath. And the home is ready for your vision, one level, with a carport. So this one would be a fixer, but under 40 grand for just under six acres of land. Well worth looking at, in my opinion. Okay, so moving on from that one, we're gonna bump it up to a price of 44.9. This is on 6.32 acres, and this is in uh, Natalie, Virginia, 24577. This one's been on the market for 89 days. I'm not sure if this there's a house with this property here. There might have been at one time. Nice flat land. Ooh, this looks interesting. Okay, so looks really pretty. Again, if it weren't winter time, uh, it would probably look a whole lot different. And Virginia does get four distinct seasons, and I think it's like in the mid-30s today. So this one is on Acorn Road, and it's 44.9. And it says, looking for some land to build close to Highway 501 with road frontage open and wooded. The old house was taken down except for the small addition. The property has an old well, but no septic. Electric is available. Small shed on the property for the tractor that will convey. Okay, so this one would have um, no electric, but it does have an old well and no septic. So for $44.9, you're basically getting a little old building and the 6.32 acres. Beautiful property. Okay, moving on from that one. We're moving it up to $63,000. This is a three-bedroom, one-bath home with just under 1,000 square feet. This is in Pennington Gap, Virginia, 24277. This one's been on the market 140 days. It is a 69 model. Little ranch. Just under a thousand square feet. And there's the kitchen. A lot of paneling, a lot of potential. This has so much potential. Paint goes a long way. Put the lid down, people. My goodness, drives me crazy. Okay, so this one is on Media Street. Nice, cute little home. And now this one does not have a lot of property, does they tell us here. New roof, new flooring, new cabinets, corner lot, ready to move into. Um, it's been rented for 700 per month, so it's a great investment property, or you could move into this one. And it does not tell us how much property is there, but it doesn't seem to be on a large parcel. So that one there is 63,000. 
So moving on from there, this one is 65,000. It's on half of an acre, three bedroom, one bath. This one is in Clintwood, Virginia, 24228. It's been in the market for 157 days. This is a 75 model. This looks really cute. Nice covered little porches. One on the side, one in the front. Looks like it must have a basement. Hmm. Some wallpaper. You got a little galley kitchen there with a side door. Does have some carpet and some paneling. But again, low price, high potential. That's what I'm seeing. Looks like it's been winterized. Maybe it's been vacant for a while. Under 65000 with a half an acre land. It's not going to show us the basement? I don't get these agents. I really, I just don't get it. Okay, so Big Smith Ridge Road in this one is on a half of an acre, and it must have a basement. Okay, so, but it's not going to show us. Let's see what the details say. Three bedroom, one bath, located in the mountains of southwest Virginia. Beautiful mountain views from the backyard. Home comes with concrete pad, parking, and a covered front porch. Home is sold as is. Doesn't say anything about the basement. Let's look at the pro uh, property history here. Maybe some longevity because it was listed in August. So it's been on the market a little while. And as, as I always mentioned, that the longer they're on the market, the more negotiating power you should have, especially if you have a good agent. So this one here is in Clintwood, Virginia, 24228. It's been on the market just under 160 days, 65000 All right, let's see what else we're getting. Here we're moving into a, let me take some of these tabs out because my computer is running a little slow. This one here is 78.9. It's a two-story on a quarter of an acre with 2,004 square feet, moving up in price and square footage, three bedroom and two bath. Let's see what we get in Marion, Virginia. Oh, come on. Here we go. All righty. You got a really nice tub. Pedestal tub. It's actually not on claw feet. And then there's the kitchen. Hmm, pretty colors. You got a parquet floor. Beautiful staircase. Now this house has a ton of potential. Hmm, it looks like it's a log. Looks like log with hardwood floors. Maybe it was an original log and they added on to it. And then it's got a suspended ceiling. A little funky. Beautiful staircase. A lot of potential with this one. And then this looks like it could be the laundry room. And then that looks like it's another bathroom that you step down into. Cool enamel sink. Cast iron, possibly. So this is a two-story home. Looks very nice. Beautiful views. And this one is on Chilhowee Street in Marion, Virginia, 24354. It's been on the market for 50 days. It is a 1900 model, so more than likely they did add on to it. 78.9. Let's see. Whether an investment, a starting point for restoration, or simply an affordable housing, there's ample space and abundant opportunity in this 10-room, three-bedroom, two-bath home, central heat and air, solid older standing seam and metal tile roofing, close to all the amenities. And it's within, within walking distance of the Marion Water Park River Walk. And uh, owner is also selling the neighboring house. So let's see if there's any property history with this one here. It was listed in 2023 for 82.9 in November there. And now it's been reduced to 78.9. That looks like a great bargain for somebody. It's a large house on a quarter of an acre. All right, very nice. Okay, let's check out SoFi. Before we go over there, let's check this one out. This one, we're moving up in price, and this one's 1,960 square feet with a half an acre. Let's see what we've got here. Wow, this one, ooh, look at this. This looks very interesting. Looks like it does need some attention on the roof line. Beautiful colonial-style home. Dormers, ooh, this looks really pretty. Look at this. Beautiful hardwood floors, same color. I wonder, oh, this one must be the one next door. That's what I'm guessing. Same colors. Wow. So if you want to buy one for yourself and one for a family member, this might be a good package deal. Very cool. I like the wallpaper. 
Wallpaper's making a comeback. Okay, so there, wow, this one is in some little rough around the edges, but potential is there. Look at this. Very, very nice. There's your old bathroom. And again, you know, when you're in these places and you can get a better look in person, you can walk it, feel the floors, and have a home inspection. And as I always say, if walls could talk, but there's so many beautiful homes out there that need to be brought back to life, and this is just one of them. Looks like it probably had some roof damage, is my guess. Dual sinks. Look at the size. This is a beautiful home. At one time, there was probably a beautiful family that lived here, and that's what it's looking for again. And this one is at 240 East Main Street, and a half an acre, yep. And there are multiple listings for this seller, so they probably own the one next door is my guess. 94.9. Okay, so let's go over to SoFi. SoFi is the um, website that I use to find out the cost of living for all of these areas that we venture through. And uh, saying here, the average cost of living in Virginia is around 48249 per year, so a little bit lower, like 8000 lower or higher, I should say, than West Virginia that we saw in the lead last episode. Good news for those drawn to the land of America's forefathers. All told, Virginia's cost of living is relatively reasonable. While it's not one of the cheapest states in the nation, it's not one of the most expensive either. And its 2022 study, the Missouri Economic Research and Information Center, ranks Virginia 31st out of 50 as far as cost of living goes. By contrast, neighboring Maryland is one of the most expensive states in 46th place, though North Carolina, West Virginia, Tennessee, and Kentucky all rank more affordable, which you can see here on my channel as I have done episodes on those states. So here that says the housing utilities come in on an annual basis of around $87.74, food and beverage non-restaurant $37.29, gas and energy $11.39. So personal expenditures, of course, depends on the person, come in at $27,430. Housing costs range from $12.21 to $18.39 for rentals and uh, according to Zillow the typical home value in the state was 351,000 which is slightly less than the nationwide typical home value of 359 but as you'll see here there are plenty of houses that we can buy in the state of Virginia way below the median sales price so here you have the other cities the neighboring cities Virginia Beach Richmond Roanoke Charlottesville um, shout out to my aunt and uncle in Charlottesville and uh, yeah, so Danville would be 130,000, Martinsville 105, Big Stone Gap 105,000. And I have to give a shout out to Fancy Gap, Virginia. We've stayed there in our travels. I love Fancy Gap. Beautiful, beautiful place. We stayed at a KOA there. So if you're traveling, check out Fancy Gap. Beautiful, beautiful. And they have, uh, it's pet friendly also. Loved it there. So this goes on about more housing costs. And then the utility costs here, electricity comes in at 131 on an average Virginia bill, gas coming in at 105, cable and internet 121, and water at $36. And it says here that the cost for food is around $311 per month per person. And then it goes on to show the index for the neighboring um, counties and cities. And then transportation between uh, average transportation costs in Virginia, 5477 to 15530 per year. And then it goes on to the health care, the child care, and the taxes. The marginal tax rate in Virginia, 5.75%. And then it goes on um, for more miscellaneous costs, so on and so forth. So it says here that to live comfortably uh, shows you how much uh, the, well, it's not giving me a figure there, but typically, if you read on, it will give you more information on how much money you need to live comfortably. And of course, everybody's on their own budget. So that just gives us some cost of living information from the SoFi page on uh, Virginia. Now we're moving on to some more beautiful homes here. This one's 99.9. It's on seven and a half acres. It's a four bedroom, one bath in Brook Neal. This looks very nice. Two-story home way off the road. Privacy, privacy. Looks like it does have an outbuilding. Maybe it has some out, maybe it has some fencing to go with it. Oh, look at this. Beautiful staircase. Again, paint. You could paint this paneling if you needed to. Paint goes a long way. It's an inexpensive tool and it makes such an impact. 
beautiful woodwork. This one's very nice. Another home with a lot of potential on some acreage. And this one is on Clater Road in Brookneal, Virginia, 254528. It's only been on the market five days, and that is a 1950 model. Calling all flippers or investors sees the opportunity to transform the property into a lucrative flip project with its massive room size, seven and a half acres of land, location in an up and coming community, and the ability to max out your return on investment. So this one is 99.9. Let's see if there's any history with this one. No history. There might be some serious longevity of home ownership with this one, which is awesome. So that is another one on seven and a half acres. This one here is 99,000 on a half an acre, a little over more than a half an acre. Four bedroom with three bath with 2,064 square feet. And what do we have? Oh, look at that. Ooh, this one's good size home. You got an attached garage, mountain views, fenced. At least it looks fenced there. Looks like it has a side deck. You got deer coming into your yard. Oh, we got twin Bambies. How pretty is that? And then there's your kitchen there. Not too bad. We've obviously seen worse on this channel, that's for sure. Ceramic flooring. You got hardwood. This looks like a ton of potential. So 99000 Oh, there's that lid. Good Lord, people. <laughs> Drives me crazy. Okay, so there's the bathrooms. There's your laundry room. And there's the staircase. That must be maybe going down to the basement level. And there's the garage, another bathroom. And this is on New House Branch Road. Very large rooms. This is a good size house. Looks like it might have a couple of decks. So you've got another door over here. So House Branch Road in Grundy, Virginia. It's been on the market 114 days. And it does say that there's multiple listings for this seller. Grundy, Virginia 24614. It's a 1991 model. Uncover the hidden potential four-bedroom, three-bath investment property, attractively priced to sell. While it may require some TLC, the diamond in the rough presents an exciting opportunity for investors. Step inside and you'll be greeted, greeted by the spacious modern layout. And here, let's see about the history. It was listed in September for $124.9. Then it was, um, the price was decreased to $119.9. Then decreased, decreased, and where it sits today at the 99,000. So it looks like they are motivated. And again, the longer they're on the market, the more negotiating power you should have. So moving over to this one, this one's 100,000. This one's on 3.36 acres, four bedrooms and two baths in Gookland, Virginia, 23102. Hmm. Ooh, look at this one. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have a two-story home here. It looks like it might be a split level. Does have brick foundation on part of the house. Looks like it might heat with fuel gas or propane. Beautiful parcel. 3.36 acres. Look at this. $100,000. There's your kitchen. Hardwood floors. That looks like it. That might be the bare floor. It could be. Can't quite tell what's going on there. And then you've got your baseboard heat. Very nice kitchen. Beautiful fireplace. That might be a uh, pellet stove. Or maybe it's a gas insert. Here's your mechanicals. There's the bathroom with a single shower. Your wall sink there. Beautiful staircase. This is a ton of potential. Beautiful flooring. There's your other bathroom. A lot of potential with this one. Look at that beautiful property. Okay, and this one is on Pine Lane in Gookland, Virginia, 23102. It's only been on the market 14 days. It's a 53 model. Oh, it's a subject to an auction, but it 
it's not at auction yet. There's quite a few auction properties I'm noticing more and more as I go through this series. Um, sometimes you can buy a home at a really fair price at auctions, you guys. And maybe I'll do an episode on that because it seems to be more prevalent, especially with everything that's going on with the National Association of Realtors finding themselves in a lot of hot water. Um, so this one, the four bedroom, two bath with 1,821 square feet. And uh, yeah, spacious rural escape, I'd say 100,000. And let's see about the history here. No, no history really. Looks very, very nice. 3.36 acres, four bedroom, two bath. Currently priced at 100000 And they are having an open house. So if you're in the area of Gookland, Virginia, they're having an open house on Sunday. Good to know. So let's check out some fun facts before we move on. And uh, Virginia has a population of 8.64 million people. Richmond is the capital. The median home sale price, $416,000. 8% increase from 2022. Rents can range from $1,200 to $1,895, depending on where you are. Minimum wage in Virginia is $12 per hour. Property taxes, we saw 0.75. That's below the national average, which is 0.99. The income tax can range, though, in Virginia, 2, 3, 5, or 5.75%. As we saw, it's not the lowest cost of living, but it's certainly not the highest, and ranks 31 out of 50. Gas in Virginia is just under $3 a gallon, and Virginia has four seasons considered moderate, not too hold, cold, not too hot, nor too cold. Winters can be cold. They do get snow, light snow, and the temperatures in the summer can be very pleasant between 70 and 80 degrees. The dogwood, flowering dogwood, is their uh, state flower, and the American foxhound is their state dog. Love to love to learn about the state dogs. Okay, so moving on from this one. This one is very interesting. This is the nice ranch that was in the intro with 6.88 uh, acres, 125,000, three bedrooms and two baths with 1,582 square feet. This one's been on the market for 40 days. It is a 2000 model, so it's not very old. And uh, Amherst, Virginia, 24521. And it must have a basement. Sits way off the road. Nice long driveway. So you're definitely going to get some privacy. It looks like these people heat with propane gas. You got a two car detached garage and a pond. Looks very nice. Gosh, it's not very old. 24 year old house for $125,000. Flatwoods Road. It's not going to show us the inside. Auction. See, there we go again. What is going on? So, okay, so this one doesn't say anything about the auction, but uh, you can obviously call for more information. And uh, yeah, so this would be another one. But it doesn't state that it's on auction yet. So if this was of interest, you possibly could call the agent uh, and find out more. 6.88 acres, $125,000 home. It's hard to say what's going on with it without seeing the interior, of course. Okay, so moving on from there. We're gonna check this one out. This one looks really interesting. Look at this, wow. And this one is on Frontier Lane, 2,880 square feet on 25 acres of land. In Castleton, Virginia, 22716. This has only been on the market six days. It's a 1990 model for $150,000. I just, this, when I saw this, I'm like, this has got to be on the intro. This one just looks really, really interesting. Look at the parcel. 25 acres. So if you're looking to homestead, I'd be all over this. And it looks like it's going to possibly be a fixer, but nonetheless, well, septic, the structure, 25 acres, $150,000. Beautiful. Wow. And it looks like it must have a basement, a lot of glass. That is a very cool home. Very rustic to say the least. And look at the tree coming right up through the deck. Love that. Propane gas. Got some stairs going up to the upper level of the deck here on both sides. Looks like it did have mechanicals at one time. And there's your dual propane heater tank or propane tanks. Look at this. Oh, I wish I was in Virginia. I would be looking at this house. 
Again, a diamond in the rough with so much potential. Wow. So it looks like it had some roof issues. Again, without being in there, it's kind of hard to say, but look at this. Very pretty. This one needs to be lived in. This one needs someone to go in there and give it, you know, and just rehab it, bring it back to life. This is so nice. There's your one bathroom there. There's another bathroom, or that might be the same one with a shower on the corner, I guess. And there is the hardwood floors. Beautiful. Here it is just sitting vacant. It's hard to say what kind of shape it's in, of course, right? Because we, you know, it's hard to say without knowing how long it's been unoccupied. There's your other bathroom. Looks like it's got the skylight there. Lots of closet space. There's the roof issue one of them. And there's your basement. Very interesting property to say the least. Wow. There's your hot water heater. It's wrapped. And then you've got your water tank there. There's your access to the basement. There again is the parcel. Wow, look at that green. Then you've got a waterway here. And there's the house. Okay, so this one again is 9267 Frontier Lane, 25 acres in the house, the well, the septic for $150,000. Let's see. Oh, it's an auction. Please bid early. All right, you guys, I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize that, but the auction is on March 5th. So if you're looking, if you're looking at this one, definitely... Uh, you know, there's more information that could be had for this one. Beautiful property nonetheless. Really nice. Okay. Before I go on to the next house, though, I do want to click on the um, farmer's markets. This page here is farmer's markets in Virginia. I found this on TripAdvisor, and this gives all of the information on a lot of the farmer's markets, and there's all kinds. And they've got breweries, country corners. Look at those mums. So this would just be one page that you could check out the farmer's markets. I didn't want to forget this, which I didn't put it in yesterday's or the last episode with West Virginia, but um, all kinds of really cool farmer's markets. So yeah, just wanted to point this out. If you're going through Virginia, definitely check out the local farmer's markets and support local. Okay, so this would be another one. This one is quite interesting too. Wow, look at it. This is a sprawling Cape Cod, to say the least, on five acres with 2,395 square foot, 2,395 square feet, two bedroom, one bath, which it seems much larger than that because it has 2,395 square feet. And this one is in um, Palmyra, Virginia, 22963, or maybe it's Palmyra, Palmyra, Virginia, 22963. It's only been on the market two weeks. This is a 1952 model on five acres. Wow. Looks like the roof's in good shape, except for maybe this little area right here. Can't quite tell what that is. Look at this sprawling ranch. Wow. Very pretty. Wow. Circular driveway. Look at the land. And it looks like it might have an in-ground pool. Yeah, it does. It has an in-ground pool. That's something we haven't seen yet. There's your pool house, your little pump house, more than likely. Look at the beautiful property. And boy, we have some purple. Wow, that's the first. Beautiful fireplace, nice built-ins, typical Cape Cod scallops there on the wall. Wow, this one is very interesting. They liked purple. Wow. Another home with a ton of potential. Beautiful cabinets. Wow. Nice built-ins. Look at these cabinets. Those are very nice. Double doors. Look at the built-ins. This is very nice. You got a slate floor in this room. Beautiful bathroom. You got a lot of wood paneling. That's some leopard 
looking carpet. This one is most interesting I think I've seen yet. This is what I love about looking at houses. You never know what you're going to get. Look at the size of this. This one is so nifty. Okay, so this one again, James Madison Highway. Wow. Very colorful to say the least. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so this one, James Madison Highway. The purple, the purple house. And $150,000 on five acres of land. Two bedrooms, one bath. But let's see the details. Something doesn't make any. That's an auction too. List price is the minimum starting bid. That makes sense. High bid at auction determines the purchase contract price. House has more than 2,300 square feet on five acres of land. So if I were in that area, I'd definitely be looking at that. But yeah, that one is quite interesting to say the least. So let's go back and see what else we have in this price point, you guys, because I didn't realize that was an auction home. This one has, this one's another $125,000 home with more than five acres. This looks very nice. Nice property. It's not going to show us anything. Hoover Road and it's been on the market for six days. Nope, that's an auction house too. I'm going to have to look into these auctions. I'm not really sure what's going on. Here's a cutie for $149. This one has 8.21 acres in Heathsville, Virginia. No, no photographs. I'm not sure what is going on with these people. Older home sitting on a nice piece of acreage. Really? 1940 model with 8.21 acres for $149,000. All right, so let's go back in and let's just see how many homes are on the market in Virginia compared to West Virginia. And it looks as though, let's take out the pending. And in Virginia, for single family homes, there are 1,029 homes on the market. Hmm. And then if we look for land, oh no, I'm sorry. I've got, let me take my filter out. I think that's what my problem is here. I don't need all these filters. No minimum. Yeah, no max. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, that would be the reason. Okay, so if we take this back out, let's go back into single family homes. I was going to say that seemed off. There's 15,557 homes in Virginia on the market. And of course, you can bump the price up like this one. Here's 300,000 or you can reduce it. There are homes under $50,000 in Virginia. You roll up your sleeves, get your hands dirty, but they are out there. That one's a beautiful home for 290. Here's another really nice home for 150. Another split level for 150. So there are more than 15,500 homes on the market. And when we take the homes out, there's 9,739 listings for land. And when we hide the contingent, 8,144. Here's a nice home. Look at this. Let's check this one out. 99.9. 6.11 acres. This is in Rocky Mount, Virginia. Wow, that looks nice. Shoo, that's very pretty. Nice farmhouse. Rocky Mount, Virginia, under 100 grand with six acres of land. Looks very nice. There's your garden. There's your outbuilding with a run-in. Beautiful property right there to raise some alpacas or have a couple ponies and have your chickens and go out there and gather your fresh eggs. If you're looking to homestead, I'd be all over this. This one looks very nice. Wow. Look at that beautiful property. There's a lot of photographs. This is kind of getting nutty. 174 pictures of the outside alone. So if you're in Rocky Mount, Virginia, 24151, this one is available for $99.9, over six acres of land. It's been on the market 93 days. They are offering acreage, tracks at affordable pricing. Harvest Ridge is going to be a new subdivision. Minutes from Rocky Mount. Wow, so that is a very interesting piece of property right there. All right, so there we have it. So let's just go back in real quick because I wanted to see how many homes are actually pending. So there's 10,135 on the market. And then when we take out the pending, there's 15,000. So really strong housing market in Virginia also. 
So let's take a look at rentals before we click off because we have to look at the rents and see what we get for rentals. And there are 10,171 rentals in the market of Virginia. And if we wanna look at single families, 1,993 rentals, 1,550, 2,500, 1,850, $550 for a little Cape Cod, 1,200, 950, 1,250, 1,475, a mobile home for 1,000, 1,750, 1,850, so yeah, they're not wrong on the rental prices. They're a little bit higher in some areas, but they're lower in others. There's one for 985. So yeah, a lot of rentals. And then if we wanna look at the apartments, apartments in Virginia are, there's a more than 5,800 of them. And it looks like you can get an apartment for as low as 1,500, 1,200, new complexes. There's a house for 1,000. So yeah, a lot of rentals, a lot of property, and a lot of land. So that just gives us a glimpse into the beautiful state of Virginia is for lovers. So yeah, so that just gives us, you know, some information on how much house we can get for the money in Virginia and quite a bit different than West Virginia, but some very, you know, a lot of potential. So main focus here really is just what kind of house we can get for the money on the lower price points that are full of potential that, you know, just needs some life brought back into them, I guess. Keep your cups full of happiness, everybody. It's great to see you. You're always welcome to subscribe to the channel. So until the next state of interest, stay safe, stay happy, stay aware, and definitely stay tuned. Cheers, everybody.